Hey, what's up guys? It's Caleb or Colossal and I hoped you liked that little clip of the close proximity around the pylons. I was on my break at work and I saw those and I had to rip it. Today's video is a little different, uh, not just flying. We're gonna go over my beta flight configuration and my PIDs. I know a couple people have been asking about it. Uh, so we'll just jump right into it. So my configuration is pretty default other than my PIDs. Uh, I'm running a CL Racing F4. As you can see, I'm running eight kilohertz on both the gyro and PID loops. I prefer the way four kilohertz feels, but eight just uh, makes prop wash handling just that much easier. Uh, so that's why I leave it at eight and it just works for me. And then obviously you can see I'm using DShot 600 for the DShot commands. S-Bus uh, for the Tyrannus. Uh, I do not have crossfire, but we'll see about that in the future. Air mode, just have that on the arm and switch. Uh, OSD through beta flight and then anti-gravity and dynamic filtering on beta flight 3.2.1. So these are my PIDs and rates. Um, just recently got the M9 gimbals for my Tyrannus, so I bumped up both the Expo on these uh, just to get used to it, but I'll bump them back down to my usual 0.5. So as for tuning, you'll notice my D gains are relatively low compared to most people with Betaflight. When I tune, I use D gains to get rid of roll and pitch bounce back. So I leave them around 20 and only increase it to get rid of that. I think you see a lot of pilots nowadays raising their D gains in the 30s and 40s on Betaflight to get rid of prop wash. And of course, you can tune out prop wash by increasing your D gains but I think a lot of pilots will agree that it makes your quad feel kind of sluckish or muffled and if you decrease your D gains you can learn to fly away from prop wash so your quad feels a lot better and then you don't have the issues of prop wash so that's just my opinion but to each their own uh, for I, I tune out the bobble you get from throttle movements with anti-gravity gain. So I just throw my eyes to 50 and 45, and I've never had an issue with that. I like the way it feels. Uh, my quad doesn't feel too stiff, but it doesn't get pushed around in the wind. I, I tune P's to completely line of sight. Uh, obviously, I make small adjustments when I'm in the field, uh, but I tune them line of sight. And I, I just think that's uh, the best way to tune. Uh, it's quick and easy. I can tune a, a quad probably in about two packs and then to fine tune it, uh, I could probably do it in about five through the goggles if I'm really trying to get in there. Uh, Cause I think honestly, the, the thing I struggle with most is getting my TPA correctly. Like I'm still always adjusting that uh, to get rid of those oscillations around mid throttle. Uh, so right now I'm running 25% at 1680, but I know last week I was running about 20% at 1500. Um, and it's just, it really depends. Like honestly, it changes with the temperature and all that outside. So you'll notice uh, my D set point and transition are obviously not stock. I think these are one of the most important things in the beta flight uh, PID tuning guide. Um, I would really just sit here, put them all to zero, fly, put them to 0.5, fly one, etc and learn what they do. They really change the way the quad feels. Um, the quad's not gonna react that differently other than the way it reacts on the end of rolls, but it will make the quad feel significantly different. And if you ever have an issue with hot motors, try messing with these, cause this can actually make quite a bit of difference as well. But uh, we'll get into my filters, obviously. The gyro notch one and two, I have them disabled and I'm running PT1 and that's about it. Well, I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. I know it's a little bit different, but we'll get back to the flight videos later in the week. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Uh, comment below if you'd like to see anything more or have any questions about my builds. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.